everyone, and welcome to the channel. I'm Brad Smith, and this is Zed. And here we are. We are in the world of Fallout 4. We are continuing uh, playthrough. Piper is... Uh, I'm going to leave Piper behind for a bit. And all right, let's see. But we're going to pick up um, R4 R404. Oh, Deacon is uh, pigging out on the ramen. Tinker Tom is, you know, Tinker Tom is being Tinker Tom. Oh, and where is R4? Where is Diamond City is under opposition control. Maybe that's why Piper's been writing about it. What's up? Make sure you never follow me. It's all our asses if you want. Sorry, Tinker Tom's got me doing something. <laughs> Do we Tinker really Tom's want to cooking know? up something? I hope it goes better than last time. Yeah, uh, Tinker Tom is quite the low conspiracy theorist. Uh, he has some very different I views. Was I don't want to talk to you yet, Tom. Well, where is she? Things are quiet for now. I'm very busy. Unless yeah, I... I need my medical expert. Oh, great. A bunch of people I really don't want to. You from one of those vaults? You got too many teeth to be a scout. I hope to God the Institute doesn't find us here. At least not so. All right. Oh, there she is. All right. Fixer, huh? We could use a good mechanic around here. And you are? My code name's 404. I guess you could say it's the area code I was born in. So what do you do here? I'm what you call a heavy. When a situation calls for muscle, it's my job to flex it. And again, uh, R404 is from Anything you want to talk about as much as i'd like to say in chat i've hung out here long enough with everything that's going on we need more agents in the field yes how bad's the situation out there pen's a psychic ask her me i try not to think too far ahead if life's taught me anything you never know when you're gonna have to start oh, what, 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 what's going on back there are you gonna be all right are you worried about me I'll be all right. I was there when the Lone Wanderer took back the Jefferson Memorial. So I've seen this episode before. This is just a rerun. No, uh, she's been if traveling around out, too. Not come with me. You know, that makes a lot more sense than going out alone. And I'm sure Des wouldn't mind if he had some backup. All right, let's go. Okay, so... Hey. Got a little present for you. Just stick yourself with the pointy end. Sure, eyes yeah. open. That's right. So she, I don't know what she had. Oh, she didn't have. Let's see. Want to give her a decent. You are decent. Laser. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Let's give her some ammo. Yeah, so 404 is from the Tales of 
Tales from the Commonwealth. Oh god, I do have plenty of <laughs> ammo to give to her. <laughs> that are available through Tales from the Commonwealth. Uh, 4. R4 is one of them. Uh, there's... I think I pointed her out for in the... in the... Um, in, in the Third Royale, there is a ghoul. Um, you help her with a quest and... That's how you get in with her. Let's see. So, let's see if. for the time being. Okay. Do a save. <coughs> Alright, let's get out of here for Glad you're with us. And I think I stated before that uh four is you never met a synth before glory. We got a lot of sims in play right now. Makes things really dangerous. Let's see where? Where is that side entrance? Sometimes the direct approach isn't the best to take. For every synth that makes it out, there's a round on me. Here we go. Uh, R four is a fully interactive. Um companion. I think there is an affinity system for her as well. Um, I haven't looked up to see what perk she has, but um, you can take her to Far Harbor and Nuka World and she will completely interact with you, no problem. I mean, she'll be, you know, saying stuff that conforms with the situation, so I mean, that's, that's good. So that we'll just see how this goes. And I think when I, I'm going to send her off, I'm going to send her off to, I'm going to send her off to uh, Sanctuary. Um, because even even though Home Plate is a pretty good sized house. When you get a bunch of companions uh, in there, it gets pretty dicey. I mean, it just gets jammed up. All right. Okay. Let's go to Mercer. And this changes from time to time. The location of the uh... Yes. Um it was uh, once Taffington, and I think it's shifted to someplace else. 
and a different playthrough, and now we're back to Taffington, so. All right, here we are for And again, it is here. What's this? Bad day to be a bad guy. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Just stay away from me, you damn bugs. God, we got a bunch of them here. Oh, we're gonna die. oh God. Oh God. Is on now. About it again? Okay. Oh damn it! Radio. Oh, damn it. Huh? Going home? I gotta find that stupid radio. <sighs> All right, because this goes back to because certain uh, because when Bethesda got oh Christ, Mary Sutton, Zukasa Nikasa. Yeah, but. What is it with Mary's note? Who was Mary Sutton? Uh, again, Fallout, Bethesda pays money so they can... Margaret. Oh, it's Margaret's note. Was there Mary? No, there was a Margaret. Sorry. Oh, this is not. <laughs> oh. So, some kid took it upon himself to. Okay, first of all. Uh, yeah, so Bethesda pays money to various. Entity so they can use music for their radio stations. And, which is, you know, so when you play the game, you can hear the music, and that's all well and good. Yes. However, I'll just go ahead and take everything. Oh, she didn't like it. Huh. Kate and Piper like it when you pick locks. So I don't know what it is with... Uh... Got it. Oh, okay. Alright. Hey, there's some, miss some missiles in the steamer trunk. And a nu nuclear mine. Ah, uh, and a frag grenade. The, uh, the post-apocalypse is quite crazy. Alright. What the hell? Okay. So, just a second, let me get it on. Okay, I gotta build. Okay. So anyway, they pay, you know, Bethesda pays money to um, use these um, songs, and, uh, but that's the thing. They pay the money, they pay, they got the rights, and you can listen to the songs, and you know, as you play. However... 
if you do a playthrough, um, and you broadcast it or live stream it, well, yeah, that's forbidden. You can't do that. Let me go ahead and kind of. So, and you will get, you know, you could uh, get your video pulled by YouTube. So, it happens. Okay. All right. Well, I am going to. We have to build turrets. And so, okay, we're going to build turrets. Each turret. This is... Really? <laughs> Typically... Huh. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. Evidently, I got enough turrets, so. But I'm just gonna build some extra. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we can report back to Pam. Oh, that's all we have to do. Still kind of creepy about holding, you know, the dead body and all. So I'm kind of curious about this whole thing with the kid. Oh. Yeah, because my friend Al, he has a big thing about radios because he's has some video, or he's got some strikes or things against him because of, you know, this, you know, YouTube's policy about this music in the game. So. Sweet. What the hell? Okay. All right. <laughs> All righty. Do a quick save. I wish there was a chasm for this game. Chasm is a great mod from Fallout New Vegas, which does the saving automatically. All right. Focus. 
Just get them all for them. Is that it? Okay, I'm kind of curious because typically sometimes after you build this, This other guy shows up, and I was just waiting for him. Uh, so anyway, yeah, Al was, um, he has a thing about radios now. Oh, God. Randolph safe house has got another dead drop for you. Oh, God. Okay. First, let me... Talk to the robot. Where are all the simps got? The importance of Bunker Hill and our asset there is not widely known. Please keep it Setting that way. human machine interface to 100%. Good evening, agent. My data indicates Mercer's safe house has been established. Reward dispensed. Further help is required. I have the location of a Black Ops cache. It contains supplies our organization oh, okay. needs. Railroad Alpha has asked for you to secure the cache from any hostels in its vicinity. What's in this cache? Contents are classified. However, if the cache is secured, it increases our organization's effectiveness by 2%. Oh. Warning, margin of error is 3%. The cache is hidden in compliance with tactical counter surveillance protocols. This RFID device will locate and unlock the cache upon close proximity. How does this device work? The device is calibrated to identify you as Colonel Johnson of the Defense Intelligence Agency. Colonel Johnson is authorized to access all DIA military ordinance in the region designated Commonwealth. You only have to secure the cache. Runners will transport contents on a separate timetable. Terminating human machine interface. So you don't worry about assigning the same op. Compartmentalization of intel does have its cost. All right, Des. I, uh... God, what is it with you companions sitting down and drinking? All right. First things first. Uh... Where is Taffington? Uh, there we go. Go there. All right. All right. Okay, everyone. Oh, shite. And this is not good. We are in the midst of a storm. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. And um, we're going to uh, uh, kind of... Uh, I'm going to stop right here for the moment. And uh, everyone, thanks for watching. Uh, God, the last time I saw a storm like this, I was sent back through time. And I don't want that to happen again.
bad, bad things happen to everyone. Bad things. Oh god, this is, yeah, this is like Wrath of God type stuff from like old Raiders of the Lost Ark, Ark or even Poltergeist, the original Pol Poltergeist movie. Alright everyone, thanks for watching, and I'm going to see what's going to happen next. Be seeing you.